Alright, welcome back. Let's do this again. I literally just got done uploading the video maybe five minutes ago on how to control uh, RGB light strip using Arduino. But I don't feel like I explained it very well at all. So I'm going to try this again. Uh, may delete the next video. I don't know. Or the video before this one, rather. Alright. Again, let me show you what I got going on here. And uh, this time I went ahead and took it apart. So I can show you the parts that you need. Alright, well, for one, you're going to need Arduino. You're going to need some jump wires. <clears throat> pins I'm using is 9, 10, and 11, and you can see I have the red, green, and blue pin jump wires already in there. That's important to remember because in order for the light strip to light up properly, you need the red, green, and blue pins to be correct. Uh, I won't focus here, but this is a 12-volt RGB light strip. It contains 300 LEDs. It has three LEDs, RGB, in each one of those. So this light strip requires 12 volts of power and a lot of current. That's why I recommend using a LED power supply. Uh, I This one I actually use to uh, control a small CNC machine. I have a bigger one just like it that supplies 24 volts to my bigger CNC machine, but for the purpose, it works great. It outputs 12 volts at 10 amps, so it's plenty of power to control the RGB light strip because it does consume a lot of power. Uh, a lot more power than Arduino can produce. That being said, in order for this to even power up, the black wire uses positive 12 volts. It runs this. So, you can see my little breadboard here. I have black, blue, green, and red already on there. And the same exact colors match the color of the four wires, black, green, red, blue, black, blue, green, red, whatever. Would you get a point? Just make sure the colors match. All right. So that's the ground wire coming from the power supply. Oh no, earthquake! I'm a tard. Alright, power and ground coming from the power supply. Very simple. Positive goes to positive. So that way the RGB light strip has its own power. That's where the MOSFETs come in. These uh, particular MOSFETs are D2012 MOSFETs. Um, as you can see, it still has white crap all over it. I like taking things apart and uh, collecting parts. I'm, I'm full of parts. As you can see, there's an entire cup full, well, half a cup full of MOSFETs. This one's transistors, capacitors. So I take things apart, I desolder the parts, and hope one day they become useful like these have. These are just very basic MOSFETs. I think I took part of a car amplifier and it had like 12 of these in there. So, for the purpose, you're just going to be controlling the red, green, and blue ground side of the light strip.
I'm going to show you how this works. The middle pin goes to the wire connected to the strip L RGB light strip. That's the middle pin. I believe that's the gate on this one. Just like that. The middle pin of the MOSFET is where the wires connect to. You're going to want to connect your ground wire to pin 3 of the MOSFET. And that just simply goes to ground. Let me see what we got going on right now. Middle pin of the MOSFET goes to the light strip. The pin, the ground pin, goes to ground. And the first pin is what the Arduino is actually going to connect to. Wow, it does not want to focus today at all. Really wish I had my better camera. Alright, I already got the wires color coded. Again, it's uh, make sure that your red, green, and blue wires actually go where they need to go. If not, your light strip won't work properly. And don't forget to make sure all the grounds are connected together. Should look something like that. Cool. Let's power it on. Let's see if it works. I'm just using this as the 5 volt power supply from the computer. You can use a battery pack just like this if you want, but the computer supplies 5 volts, so why not? Let's power it on. It's white. It's like a light blue green. A whole bunch of different colors. That's red. Purple. White again. Uh, let me explain the code real quick. Alright. Indigent. Red, green, and blue. Setting up my pins. 9, 10, 11. My void setup. Pin mode. RGB has outputs. And then my void loop section is uh, pulling pins high, then low to get the color change. And then I do it again, high to low, but yet this time I change the delay to give me um, a different effect. And then again, as you can see, I try to scroll down. And you can see my delay times, so I don't know if you can see that. That's actually what gives you the effect. 
and you can see the light staying on longer that's because I have it set for just over two seconds let me give you another look pins 9, 10, 11 go to the first pin of the MOSFET the middle pin of the MOSFET goes to the RGB light strip the third pin goes to ground and then you've got the separate positive 12 volts coming from the power supply goes straight to the black wire to give 12 volts that's needed for the light strip. Now if I explain it a little bit better more in depth if you have any questions feel free to ask have any comments on how I could do it better as always leave them thanks for watching